Here we go, level four. Construct a square with s equals 12 inches. So, <laughs> simple things, what does square mean? Four equals, four equals, four equals sides, sides, four... 90 degree angles. 90 degree angles, there we go, okay. So, four equals sides, four 90 degree angles. Okay, so there we go. So, as, as you can tell, um, I'm not giving you a format for level four. The idea with the level fours is that you're going to give written instructions only. You basically have to construct your own problem and then solve it. Um, they will mostly involve things like constructing a square, constructing a hexagon, constructing a circle. All right, so that's simple. Um, now, construct a circle around it touching all four vertices. The first thing that gets a lot of people is knowing what to do here. Alma, that. If you're looking over there, you're probably going to understand very little of what's happening. Okay. How do I construct a circle, first of all? I use what? Compass. Compass. But where do I put, where do I put the point? In the middle. How do I... How do I make, a, make a... Make a... Cross. How am I going to do that? Make use your compass to make a... I don't need a compass. You need four triangles. A perfect. I could do an angle bisector. Yeah. yeah I could. Yeah, yeah, do yeah. I have to? No. no. But it's. Smaller. What if I? Okay. Let's think about this. This is a square. This X you're talking about. Those. What do you, what do you got the lines that go across the middle of a of polygon? Diagonals. Diagonals. If I construct the diagonals, are they going to form a 90 degree angle in the middle? Yep. They are. Are they going to be centered right in the middle? Yes, they are. Okay, so if I construct the diagonals. Now, does it say anywhere in here to construct the diagonals? No. no. That's what you have to be aware of. It will not be given. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. Um, I, I really want to try one with an equilateral triangle after this, just to see how alert we really are. Okay, but when I construct these two intersecting diagonals, and see, I just have to say, like, Guys, we're doing like 30 pages of a geometry book right now. <laughs> no way. Yeah, that's the thing. They, 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 they go so slow that you get bored to death and you stop thinking and then you think it's hard. Yeah. So I am going to write a book, but I haven't written it yet. Okay, um, but enough, enough uh, arrogance for me because I'm going to make a mistake as soon as I act that way. Okay, um, so I put the point right here, right? Mm -hmm. Now if I want the circle to touch all four vertices, where do I have to put the tip? At the center. At the corner or at the side? The side. Corner. Corner is correct. Because after all, I want it to touch on the outside, right? Okay. Now, you guys have better tools than I do, so that's my excuse for if this isn't perfect. Uh, excuses. Excuses, excuses. Everybody's got one and they all stink. <laughs> Just like something else. Yes. Okay? Yeah, it doesn't look perfect. But, alright, if I was using better tools. I would have a really great one. So, the circle goes around. Now, what's going to happen, and this is where it gets a little funny. The area of the square is really easy, right? Because it's just Amazing S fact. squared. S squared, we prefer. S squared, so what's the side length? 12. 12, so what's 12 to the second power? 144. 144. Units squared. Units or inches? Inches. Inches, inches. well done. Okay. The perimeter of the square. The perimeter of the square, that's also really easy. 12 times how many sides does it have? Four. Four. So what will that be? 48. 48 what? Inches. Good. The area of this circle. Aha! Uh -huh. The brain has to grow. Because now we need to know what the radius is. How are we going to figure out the radius here? Measure out. Can we measure? Pythagorean theorem, better. Does everybody agree that this has to be equal to this? Yeah. Does everybody agree that this is the radius? Yes. Yeah. yes. So this is R, this is R? Ooh, ooh, big thinking moment. Okay, so watch what we get. R squared plus R squared equals 12 squared. Are you with me? Okay. You're not with me. Okay, I know what that means. Um, <laughs> see, because it's the right triangle, right? Yep. After all, we know that it's perpendicular diagonals. Therefore, r squared plus r squared equals 12 squared. Okay? So then 2r squared equals 144. 
Mm -hmm. yeah. Therefore, r squared equals 72. Yes. Therefore, r equals the square root of 72. I'm looking for a perfect square in that 72. Um, Anybody? Nine times. Nine times eight is good, but there's a better one. 18. Times three? Uh, let's see. Where do you think? Oh, even better. 36. There we go. 36 and 2. I'm sorry, does everybody get that one? 36 and 2? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's always a good idea to try to divide it by 2, because if you can, a lot of times your, your perfect square will jump out at you. Six. Therefore, r six. equals 6 square root of 2. You guys get me? Yeah. Okay. Now, what's interesting is that the circle is going to be pi times the radius squared. Well, what's, what's 6 squared of 2 squared? See, six see. Square, what? Wait, what? Six square root of two squared. Didn't we just do the square root of seventy-two and end up with this? Yeah. So if we squared it, wouldn't we get seventy-two? Oh, uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Because oh. it's just the opposite, right? If you take the square root and then square the thing you've got, you can end up where you started, right? Does that make sense? Okay. Let's prove it though. We have six square root of two and we're squaring it. So what is six squared? 36. 36. What's the square root of 2 squared? Four. It's not 4. It's the square root of 4. Oh. What's the square root of 4? So it's 36 times 2, which equals? 32. 72, I told you. Did you ever get that? Yeah. So it's pi times the radius squared. So this is the radius squared, so it's 72 pi. The area of the circle is 72 pi, pi inches squared. Square. Good. The circumference of the circle will be 2 pi times the radius. What was the radius again? Six, 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 six square root of 2. So 2 times 6 square root of 2 is 12 six square root of 2 pi. Okay? And lastly, the shaded area. Well, we're supposed to shade the area outside the square. So we're shading the difference between the circle and the square. So the shaded area on this problem is going to be the area of the circle, which was 72, 72 pi, pi 72 squared. pi minus, what was the square? 144. 144. 72 pi minus 144 inches squared Square. is our answer. Mm -hmm. Last thing I want you to think, what's bigger, 72 pi or 144? 72, or, 72 pi is bigger. That's why you have some shaded area, because the circle is bigger than the square. Okay, um, do you guys want to do one with an equilateral triangle? Just try it. Oh. Or maybe we'll do it when class comes back on yeah. Thursday. Yeah. We'll yeah. do that when we start. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Rewind when you need.